All right, so the Golden Globe nominations have come out, and um, uh, I know that you know nothing about the Golden Globes, nope. and you don't usually pay attention to award shows or anything nope. like that. Um, so I'll give you a little bit of help before we take our guesses on will who's going to win each of these Are you categories. that kind little sister? Yes. You going to hold my yes. hand? Yes, I, I will help you out a little bit. Okay. Um, the Golden Globes <clears throat> are actually the, um, the foreign press, um, so keep in mind which movies that or TV shows that you've heard like more, who's had better publicity, who okay. has been lots of talk, things like that. So that will probably be the um, who spent a lot of money. Okay. That that's going to be something that that's going to be key for it. Um, so we do have stakes riding on this. This we is not just do. for fun because yes. we have to put, we have to put a bet on it. So <clears throat> what are our stakes? The stakes are that whoever wins gets to pick four movies of their choosing to post on Twitter to see which one gets the highest votes and force the other person to do a review. In other words, you're going to hit me with four damn Drew Barrymore's if you win this. And you more than likely will because I suck at this kind of stuff. <laughs> but then they'll be able to pick which Drew Barrymore movie I have to fucking watch. And not only and watch, give a review on behind yes. it. And we don't have to have seen these movies. I could I could pick four movies that I've never yep. seen before. Yep. Um, but we'll we'll see. We'll go through this. I, I don't know all these. I haven't seen half these movies. This is just stuff I've heard about certain okay. movies and things like that. So this, this is the movie section. We're going to do a separate video for the television just because there are so many categories. Mm -hmm. And we don't, we don't want to make a super long video. Let's so knock it out. Let's do it. Let's jump into this. Um, I'm ready to best, lose. Best motion picture drama. Um, I think I want to go with Marriage Story with this one. Okay. Um, I want to go with 1917 because I've heard nothing but good things about it. I still want to see it. And after, literally the only the only one I've seen there is is Joker. <laughs> and, yeah, and the Irishman I heard is just too long and all that kind of mm -hmm. jazz. I know nothing about the two popes, but 1917, yeah. I I, I want to I want to watch that to get the taste of Midway out of my mouth. All right, uh, best motion picture, musical or comedy. I would love to see Jojo Rabbit win, but I don't think it's going to. I think it's actually going to be Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Ooh, okay. Well, you know, being big brother, I'm going to go with Jojo Rabbit. Just because if it wins, I you'll want, be like, I, I'm so happy and mad at the same time. That's, that's what I'm going to be That's the feeling like. a big brother is supposed to give you. All right. That's what I feel like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, best performance by an actress in a motion picture drama. Um, I haven't seen any of these movies. I've heard amazing things about all of them um but if i had to take a guess i think i'm gonna go with scarlett johansson for this one from marriage story okay i've actually heard good things about her in that but i'm gonna go with uh renee zellweger in uh judy she did get like i got lost in that trailer like she i didn't even realize it was her yeah um and same thing with Charlize least theron in bombshell like she mm -hmm. just looks like the character or the the person she's betraying so those i think are strong competitors all right uh, best performance by an actor in a motion picture drama. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. want Joaquin Phoenix to win, and I think that he might win. So I'm going to go okay. with Joaquin Phoenix. I thought he did incredibly good. Um, I did too. But remember, I said he gets a nomination but not a win. I'm going Christian Bale, uh, Ford versus Ferrari, because I can I say know. the name correctly. Yeah, shut up. Adam Driver was gonna be my second choice, but I'm like, I'm already giving so much to Marriage Story, so yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, is what you're saying. Exactly. exactly. All right. Um, best performance by an actress in a motion picture, musical, or comedy. Uh, this is like hands down for Aquafina for me. Um, I actually concur with you on that. Um, not because I don't know any of the others, but I watched that trailer and I thought it was it was unique. I yeah, I've just heard nothing but out. great things about her. Yes. Um, okay, so best performance by an actor in a motion picture, musical, or comedy. Um, I heard Daniel Craig was good in, in Knives Out. I heard he was really good. Um, and you can never go wrong with Leonardo DiCaprio, but I'm going to go with Eddie Murphy on this one. I know nothing about this movie that he's in, but I've heard really good things about it. <laughs> I'm going to go with the name I can't pronounce and go with Rocket Man. 
<laughs> oh, yes. Uh, I can't pronounce his name either, nope. but I know who he is. <laughs> there we go. We're good to go there. All right. So, uh, yeah, okay. Rocket Man for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, best, direct best director for a motion picture. Um, this was actually a harder category for me. I don't think... I, I'm, I think because of the... Um, the conflict between Martin Scorsese and all the superhero movies and the fact that uh, uh, Todd Phillips and Martin Scorsese are going against each other head to head here. I don't think either one of them are going to give, um, get it. So I'm going to go with Parasite. Ooh, okay. I'm going to go with um, 1917, Sam Mendes. Okay. Um, best screenplay motion picture. I th think... Oh goodness! What do you think on this one? Because Ooh, I'm, you're I'm gonna let me go first. Why? Thank yeah, you. You, That's you go so first kind on this of one. You. I appreciate you go first it. On this one. I'm gonna go with Noah. What is it? Bombach Marriage Story. Ah, uh, oh goodness! All right. Well, then I, I will go you. with. Thank you. So you're kind. Welcome. Held a door I was, for me once. I was. I was stuck between. I'll go with Parasite. I was stuck between Marriage Story and Parasite, but I'll go with Parasite. Okay. All right, uh, best foreign language film. Um, crap, I'm going with Parasite for this one too. That's Ooh, three in a row for Parasite. All, all those eggs in that one basket. I know. <laughs> I'm not uh, gonna. I'm not gonna change it. I'll. I'll stick with best foreign film is Parasite. Les Miserables. Me Bales. Miserables. Balls. <laughs> balls. Balls. Balls of steel. Okay, Gainer sure. terms. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with the French one. Am le Duve de Mange. <laughs> that one. Okay. All right, um, all right. So best animated feature. I am really torn between Frozen and The Lion King. Even though Lion King, they I think they actually nominated it. They didn't put it in this for this category. They when they put in votes and everything, they didn't want to be in the animated category because this is kind of like the live action version because they're redoing all their their old movies. Yeah. Um, so I wanna I wanna go with Frozen just because it was a massive success and i think it's going to pass lion king at the box office and again that feeling a British brother can give where you hate to root for it but you don't and at the same time it's the lion king i'm gonna go with the lion king all right stick with the classic yeah all right i wonder if the li the original lion king won when it came out i'm pretty sure it ago. did <laughs> i'm pretty sure it did all right. And I think um, they might snub it, to be honest with you, just because it's the exact same movie. Oh, what? It you is. know? You know what? I'm gonna go back. You know what? Oh, I'm, you're gonna change it. I'm gonna change it. You know what? I'm gonna change it to. What? And this is a long shot, but this <laughs> one is for somebody. Okay. Okay. How to Train Your Dragon: The Hidden World. I haven't seen the third one, but this, I'm. I that really one. Do that one. It. You know. You know who you are. That one's for you. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, best original score for a motion picture. I already know what you're gonna guess yep, here. I, but I, I'm I'm gonna go with 1917. Okay, gotcha. And this is the first time I don't want to go with 1917 mm -hmm. in these main lines here. I'm gonna go with Joker because that was the big thing I pulled from that movie. I liked the movie through and through, but I came out and was like the music hit me right on, except one song. But the music was perfect and really kind of drew me in. So I, I really liked that. All right. Um, best original song, motion picture. Um, I have to go with the only one that I've heard, um, which is Into the Unknown, Frozen 2. It was really good. Okay. Um, I don't think they want to give too much over there to Frozen 2. So I think I'm going to go with Stand Up, Harriet. Okay. Neither one of us are going with Beyonce, the queen? Oh, people are going to be upset with us. Or Taylor um, Swift and Cats. Or Taylor Swift, yeah. Oh, but it's Cats. Come on, that trailer freaked us out. Mm -hmm. um, if you haven't seen that trailer reaction, you should definitely go watch our trailer reaction for Cats. We 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 do not hold back for that. Yeah, if you if you like the trailer, don't watch our trailer <laughs> reaction, please. Yeah. Um, okay, so best performance by an actress in a supporting role in any motion picture. Um, I will say here that I feel like all of the I I've heard great things about all of them. Um, the only thing that I've heard that wasn't great was our mom um, saw Hustlers. She got a screener for it. She absolutely hated it. <laughs> and she's like, I really don't want the stripper to win. Okay. So I'm going to stay away from Hustlers. Um, I want to go with Lauren Dern for Marriage Story. 
I Solid. want to go with Kathy Bates for <laughs> Richard Jewell. Yeah. But I'm going to go with Jennifer Lopez from uh! Hustlers. <laughs> Mom's going to be so disappointed oh, in you. <laughs> let her. I've heard actually really good things, and I've seen some still uh, yeah. pictures of her in that oh my scene. Oh, God. <laughs> so I'm going with my girl J-Lo from back in the day. Let's do this. All right. So the last um, category for the, um, the motion picture side is best performance by an actor in a supporting role in any mm -hmm. motion picture. Um, this category... I feel like all of these are supporting actors. I feel like they could be leads. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to go with Joe Pesci from The Irishman. I don't want Irishman to win anything yeah. just because of all the conflict. But I feel like I'm not he, touching might it. Be the most, he might be the solid choice. I'm to not with. touching The Irishman at all. Um, I'm going to go with Anthony Hopkins and The Two Popes. All right. So those are our guesses for the motion picture side of the Golden Globes. Um, we will be making a separate video to go over all of the television side, which I feel like we're both going to be even worse at because no, I, the movie side, we at least know about these movies. You We've may, trailers, you may drop from like it. an 80% accuracy to like a 60%. I'm going to go from like an 80% to 12. Okay. This is going to be bad. Probably, probably. But no, this is part one. Um, I'll get part two up right away. So let us know what you guys think too. All of these, by the way, are posted on our Twitter account. Mm -hmm. You can go through and vote in our Twitter account as well um, to see who you think is going to win as well. There we go.